Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Very bad, all right. Pardon? Your wife, all right? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we got a couple of minutes. I'm sorry. My wife is playing hooky. Oh. <laughs> There's not a room with that. Gone off God's time. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of hard to do. Oh, we've entered back into it, perhaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> I read someplace that two thirds of the people in the country want to do away with daylight savings time. Yeah, I believe that. So the people that want to get rid of it, half of them want to go with the summertime and half of them want to go with the wintertime. <laughs> <laughs> so Congress is in the rare form, no matter what they do, they can offend two thirds of the people. Yes. I, well, I mean, I, do, I of course, like everybody else, know how it got started, but it really is. And I spent a decade in a fairly agrarian community, mm -hmm. and it really does play havoc with cattle and all yeah. that. I mean, it, it's. I noticed with the dog this morning that she looked at me like, what are you up for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, so, it is, I mean, if, if we're going to do something, I think we should go back to standard time simply because, like so much of what gets done there is no savings <laughs> there's mm -hmm. no daylight savings you don't save it you transfer when it occur you know yeah when the setting of the sun occurs according to the clock because you don't change the sun setting at all so mm -hmm. uh, it is a reminder that time in the sense that we are all so geared to the clock is strictly a human invention. Yeah. The days and the seasons and, and uh, you know, the, the lunar cycle and indeed the solar cycle are, are something different altogether than, than our 
perception of time. Yeah. And yet, you know, now nanoseconds are, I mean, they're important. And this whole stuff that we, all this electronic world that we live in. Yeah. <laughs> in 2000, you remember when the, everybody was waiting for the, YK crisis and the media followed you know the rising of the sun I said to the people at St. Thomas in New York that happens every day <laughs> it's yeah. very I mean, you know, it isn't a having had kids that have lived in completely different time zones I mean they Kids are back in Las Vegas now, but um, and even there, you know, you you run down the road uh, just uh, 20 miles or so to the dam and Lake Mead, and you can stand between two time zones mm -hmm. because Arizona doesn't and Arizona doesn't change; they they keep uh, standard time. So uh, it's uh, it's an interesting. I worked with the toll-free number for Social Security. There were some places that we had to be careful setting up appointments because people would go from one time zone to another time zone to file, and especially where they didn't change the clocks for daylight savings time. Yeah, you had to call them your appointments at eight o'clock. But it's on the other time zones. <laughs> uh. <coughs> well, every so often, somebody will ask me if I believe that God created the everything in six 24-hour days. I'm always tempted to say, I don't even believe in the 24-hour day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that in itself arbitrary. How about twelve hours and four watches, or whatever? We, yeah, which was, of course, the Roman, mm -hmm. the, the Roman time was twelve hours yeah. in a day and four watches. Of course, winter hours were longer than. Mm -hmm. Or were shorter than summer, excuse me, winter hours were shorter than summer hours. That time carried through much of the Middle Ages. Well, we're going to stay. Good morning, good morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all right. Just <laughs> come on through. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Miller. Good. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start because. Oh, good morning. Hi, <laughs> hi, Melissa. Good morning. I You're... snuck in. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up as Spacer does when he does his translation with verse 25 of uh, chapter 2 and then down through. I